He got a big, a big, uh, small bow. Can't even see where I'm going. Oh, there it is. We're having the time of our lives now. You gotta go to work. I wish you didn't. Big boy, huh? Jeez. Oh wow. I saw him. Yeah, man. they're just strong, man. Yeah. These some strong guys. Yeah. Oh, it's, that's a good looking fish. Right. Brett here uh, for Topo Ranger. As you can tell, we're at um, the York Haven Dam here. Now they just blew off a really loud siren. I was a, uh, I was down there, about uh, halfway down, and they 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 set off the alarm that uh, tells people that they're going to open up, so they're going to turn on some more turbines. So this boil right here, this royal, is going to get more intense. So let's just walk up here and check it out. So this water here is coming out of those turbines, which I'm assuming are right behind this wall. It's this massive structure. Wow. You can feel the vibration on this. Uh, you can see this is what's metal braiding. This is what we're walking on. There's a big log down there, but the whole thing is like shaking. Probably from the, the turbine and the force of the water coming through. Right here, you can see the main boil right there. Five minutes ago, this was not doing this right here, so they must have cranked, they must have turned on, these are the turbines they've turned on. Maybe they turned on all of them. I don't know. Let's see how far we can go, and then we'll work our way back. It looks like these are starting to move too. Maybe this is uh, idling, I guess, I don't know. It's vibrating like a mofo though. That's the Falmouth boat put in, and the, to me, now the river looks, is pretty high. Uh, here we go. What does this tell you? See that? That's telling me that this whole thing goes underwater. Which is not surprising because we're only... Ah, uh, jeez. Maybe, maybe eight feet above the water. All right, we're at the very end of uh, what's accessible now. It looks like it used to go, it used to be able to go farther, but these shards here, these uh, kind of reddish uh, shards, I think that's uh, some of the finish coat, probably from up there. In fact, you can actually, you can actually see right there where a whole bunch of that stucco or finish coat kind of fell off and it's shattering there. And it's also, there's a big pile down there. Um, so I guess they don't want you going any further. That's the lock right there. They do have a uh, one of these here, though. All right, to me, it looks like there's something going on over there, too. I don't know if that's a turbine or if that's just water coming over the dam. Because right after this end here, you see that little rocky outcrop. Or maybe that's a wall. I don't know. That, go that goes right over to the left into the dam. And it is just a, a beautiful day. It's a little warmer today than it's been. But kind of cold lately, actually. I think it's May... Uh, May 13th or 14th. Now, I'm looking up river here and I can see, I can't see almost none of the rocks that comprise the Conewaga Falls are even visible. Once you get up to where the tip of Three Mile Island is, you can kind of see some outcrops, but that's just all underwater right now. I'll link up to uh, the episode uh, Conewaga Falls North. I'll put a link up to it. If you watch that episode, uh, where I find the buoy and all that stuff. The, um, you get a good idea of what, what that area right up there looks like. And it's just completely covered. I mean, you can't see anything, it's just rapids. So these are the, yeah, and this is what stopped 
uh, um, what's his name's uh, scouting party, John Smith's, and uh, I think it was 16 something, when the, the Susquehannock Indians took him up. They met down at, uh, they met down where the Susquehanna flows into the Chesapeake. And I think it was a group of about 60 uh, Susquehannock dudes or warriors, whatever you want to call them. They met him down there and they did all kinds of stuff with him down there. And then they took a scouting party. It took them two days to get from there up to here. And they're in their, I guess, their birch bark canoes or something like that. And they came the whole way up here. And I think this is where they stopped. Historically, I think this is where they stopped. Um, but yeah, I mean, the rivers, it's not flooding or anything, but it's, it's a lot higher. All right, so why don't we switch, uh, let's mess around with some angles and some different kinds of shots and let's work our way back down. There's some guys in a boat right there. So let's head back down that way. Hear that? That means they're opening up more turbines. So this, this thing right here, I guess is a way to let excess water come out. And one of the guys that's here actually told me one time he was uh, fishing. He was way down on that side there on the other side where the water comes out. And uh, I guess he was the only one there and nobody alerted him. And when this opens up, apparently it's just a massive, it's like, it's like Cadoras Creek just flowing right through here. You can see there's this, um, they got this spillway here, a little bit of water coming out. It goes through this, this grate here. Apparently he came to leave to go home. Nobody told him and he couldn't get out. He was stuck out there. And he said he had to, uh, I guess he had to go through the actual, go into the, into the building and come out the door over here in order to, to get out of there. So that's a pretty interesting story. But this is a big building here. I mean, look at the size of these these kind of blocks here, man. Look at this. They're huge. And all kinds of drill holes. I mean, this thing's a lot bigger when you get up in and there's a camera right there. And they got a nice porta potty here. All right, well, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. We're here at the York Haven Power Station. Always wanted to go out there, and it was, was not disappointing. It was really cool. Whole thing's vibrating, it's loud. You first go out there, the platform, quite frankly, it seems a little shaky, but, uh, but it held for me, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you like my stuff, please subscribe.
hit the bell for notifications and also check me out and follow me on Instagram, T-O-P-O underscore Ranger. That's T-O-P-O underscore Ranger on Instagram, all right? As always, love having you guys along, all right? This is Brett for Topo Ranger, signing out.